With the presidential election right around the corner, the big question is no longer, will Donald Trump try to cheat? It's now become, how will Donald Trump try to cheat? And with more Americans than ever expected to vote by mail due to coronavirus, it looks like he's zeroing in on his plan. President Trump is stepping up his effort to discredit mail-in voting as vulnerable to fraud, ramping up attacks on Twitter and on television. I think mail-in voting is, is going to rig the election. I really do. They want to steal an election. That's all this is all about. They want to steal the election. There is no way you can go through a mail-in vote without massive cheating. Democrats are pushing to expand mail-in voting and change existing voting laws to make it easier for people to cast ballots at home because of the coronavirus. The president wants his uh, political allies to fight back against that, and they have now pledged $20 million uh, for that effort. For real? Only Donald Trump is weird enough to have beef with the mail. Every day, he's less and less like a president and more like a neighbor in a sitcom. God damn you, mailman! <laughs> I mean, this guy is spending $20 million to sue mail-in voting. Normally, when Trump spends that much money suing you, it's because you've seen him naked. I know what you saw last time. You can't tell anybody. You can't tell them about this thing that I got. So, even though the president and almost everyone in his administration votes by mail, clearly he thinks that letting everybody else do it would be bad for his reelection. And because lawsuits alone won't stop mail-in voting, the other part of Trump's plan is to just stop the mail. Tonight, a backlog of undelivered mail is piling up in post offices around the country. Workers are blaming the new Postmaster General, a top Republican campaign donor who has given more than $1.1 million to the Trump Victory Fund. Louis DeJoy forced cost-cutting measures leading to undelivered mail piling up at post offices across the country. And CBS News confirmed this internal Postal Service directive that outlines an operational pivot, saying extra trips to deliver mail are no longer authorized, and that we may see mail left behind or mail on the workroom floor or docks, which is not typical. The service insists it's not intending to slow down any delivery or risk any election mail. But the stakes are high for the USPS to follow through on its promise of on-time delivery. 32 states currently will not count ballots that arrive after election day, even if postmarked earlier. Wow. Even if you mail your ballot in on time, 32 states won't count them if the post office gets them in late. And that doesn't sound like an election. That sounds like what happened to me in high school. Yeah. I gave my friend a love letter to pass to my crush, but then he decided to skip third period instead. So she never got my letter. So she went to prom with another guy, and then they ended up getting married and having a kid. So that should have been my kid. And that's what I told the cops. But they made me give the kid back anyways. And that's why you gotta defund the police. So look, if Trump and his cronies are trying to sabotage the post office, there's only one solution. And I hate to say it, folks, but we have to let Bed Bath & Beyond run mail-in voting. Because no matter how much I try to stop them, I keep getting those coupons in the mail. It's ridiculous. I don't need all of this. I don't need all of this mail. I don't need to know that there's 35% off shower curtains. Oh, shit! <laughs> it was expired. Anyway, so Trump, has been on a crusade against mail-in ballots. And then he installed a close political ally who just happened to start slowing down the mail, which means that come November, a lot of votes that are supposed to make it by election day might not. It also means that in the meantime, all the other mail is getting delayed and it's having a huge effect on people's lives. In some parts of the country, customers are waiting weeks for their mail. These neighbors in Chicago's Dunning neighborhood want consistent U.S. Postal Service mail delivery. Susan Carter says when mail is delivered, it comes late, and sometimes it's not theirs. I just think the system fell apart, and I don't think they care about us. All that stuff that's important to you that nobody else should be in, get, maybe going to somebody else's house. In Baltimore, people waited two hours in hopes of getting their mail that never showed up. Many aren't getting bills and paychecks on time, putting a strain on their homes and businesses. Survived the COVID, survived everything. 
The only thing I didn't survive was the mail. As a veteran myself, I get medication through the mail. I rely on that. And not to have it when I need it, that's a travesty to a veteran. Yeah, you see, a lot of people think that mail is just a waste of paper, credit cards that they're not gonna sign up for, and ads for shit that they're not gonna buy. But for many, many people, that's how they get their medicine. It's how they communicate with family members in prison. And for many areas of the country, especially rural areas, the post office is the only way they can receive mail. So the mail might mean nothing to you, but it means everything to some people. Think of it like a Wilson volleyball. It might not mean anything to you, but when Tom Hanks got trapped on that island, it was his everything. Do you think he was f***ing that volleyball? Nah. So look, it's becoming clear as day that unless Trump changes his mind on the post office, just like every other Trump business, it could be doomed. So maybe to save themselves, the postal service should do what every foreign dictator does, flatter the shit out of Trump. Are you a Trump supporter who needs to mail your electricity bill or an angry letter to CNN? Then you're in luck. Introducing the new President Trump commemorative stamps. Specifically designed by the U.S. Postal Service in a desperate attempt to earn his approval, each stamp commemorates one of our president's great achievements. Like the time President Trump defeated the sun in a staring contest. Or the night that President Trump personally killed Osama bin Laden. And true collectors will cherish the stamp featuring President Trump's stunning cameo in the video. And if you order now, you also receive a booklet of Mike Pence stamps that you can paste next to Trump so he can forever gaze adoringly at the greatest president of our lifetime. Mike Pence stamps have no value. So order now. These stamps will only run until November 3rd or maybe 2024. We'll see what happens.